Hi. I mean, a big old fun mama. I'm watching 10 most splashy rich kids on Instagram. Man, I would have loved to actually have had money. When I grew up, we didn't really have money for food, money for clothes, money for shoes, money for underwear, money for socks. We really didn't have much. Like, um, literally, I had holes in most of my clothes and shoes, and the bottom of my shoes were almost all the way gone. My brother used to duct tape his so he wouldn't have to, so he, you know, wouldn't get stuff in his shoe. It was to a point that one of my teachers literally, there was two sides to the room, and on the other side she gave me like a trash bag full of clothes. We couldn't really, for toothpaste or toothbrushes or going to the eye doctor or pretty much anything. We literally... Sometimes my brothers would go to their friends house just so they could have food because we didn't really eat much like we were severely skinny <laughs> We were really poor Like we had a house and a roof and food sometimes but We were lucky if we did get food and all the time it wasn't healthy food. It was like really cheap Unhealthy stuff. We couldn't afford good makeup, but my favorite place to go was the dollar store. It still is because I grew up with the dollar store and Goodwill. I would walk from my house all the way to Carney's Point, which was really far walk. It was like most an hour or two to get there. I walked to school in the snow, the rain, and everything in between. I was soaked one time from head to toe because of how pouring rain it was. And my teacher's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just have to walk to school again. And I was like literally soaked. Like my, you could squeeze my shirts and bras and everything to a point that you could make a puddle or a drink. So, you know. So watching this is just so weird for me because I grew up with hardly anything. The only time we would ever get things was birthdays and Christmases. <clears throat> Which is probably why the holidays are so weird for me this year because my friend's like, what's well, not about this? But that was the only time I ever got anything. I mean, sometimes the parents would bribe us into behaving by giving us a dollar. Which, yeah, that's not big to a lot of people, but it was huge for us. I would go to Goodwill and buy like four books for a dollar. So, that was huge for me. Or I would save it up to buy something more. And that was one they would do. Like, we couldn't afford potatoes or salad that most of the time. We only ha uh, we used to have TV until they, like, you know, made the Comcast box or the v uh, Verizon stuff. And when we did that, when we only had that, we only had one TV. So we would always, always fight over it. Or I would try to watch it while everybody else was sleeping or gone. I would sneak to watch it because uh, my parents didn't like it when we watched the TV or did anything or really. I got yelled at for reading a book once. Literally, my stepmom came in, my room, took my book and threw it. And told me to get a life. And, you know. One time I literally had to scrub the bathtub from head to toe just to have a friend sleep over with just water, scrub brush, and bleach. So watching these kids who are super rich, it kind of makes you feel like, well, things are really unfair. Right now I live with my grandma, so. Because they can't afford my own place. I'm working towards it, though. Going to college and you know, get myself to be able to get a career and one day be able to afford things for me and my daughter. Well, I'm gonna go because I'm hungry.